Hello, welcome back to my channel. I told you I was going to come by, back and get, show you everything I picked up today on the beach. And I'm thinking, do these people really care, right? And then I said, well, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I said, well, if I didn't live on the beach, I would, uh, I would want to see all this stuff. Okay, so I got a piece of driftwood. And what I'm going to do with this is I am going to make a shell mobile and hang it on string. You know, I'm going to, a lot of the shells I have found on the beach have holes. They have holes in them already, so I don't have to drill. And I'll show you. These are the ones I'll, some I'll paint, like the ugly ones, while the, the ones that look like they're all stained, I'll um, paint them. I have, I have a whole bag of them. And this is the string I'll use to string them. And I have all different sizes, from large to small. So the large ones goes on top, and the small ones end up on the bottom. And what I do is I put I put um, beads and on it like glass beads or plastic beads. Okay, I found a lot of, can you see that? See, I'm in, I'm in my fifth wheel, okay? And there's not, I'll just remember, after I rinse it off, I'll just sh come over here with it. There's not a lot of room. <laughs> my fifth well it's a 40 foot fifth wheel but still it's not a house so this is a beautiful piece of wood I love driftwood someday I'll pull up my chart and remember this the uh, names of these shells but I don't know if you can see it inside. They're really beautiful. It's like opalescent. It's very shiny. It's a, some type of clamshell. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Yeah, like there are names to all of these and I don't know what they are. This is another type of clamshell. This one's broken, but I, I got it just, just so I could have it, this piece. It's very, it's, it's, it's very beautiful inside. This is a, I don't know if you, you might, you probably have these where you live. This thing comes, this is salad mix. And I keep these. Oh, here's, a, here's one that you'll be able to get a good look at the inside of. See how beautiful that is? It's like opal, it's like opalescence. It's beautiful. Typically, I wash these out outside because of all the sand. So that's why I'm doing it in this bucket to catch all the sand. I don't want all the sand going down my sink. Another beautiful shell. I'll do something with them. I just don't know what. I found another. Like these shells are all over the place with the holes in them already. That's very fortunate because 
I don't like to drill holes in shells. It's very hard to do because the shell is so hard. Another one. I found some of these. It's some type of sea. See something. It's a. I don't know if this is a piece of seaweed or or some type of plant, probably. Right. I found this all stuck together. Everything's stuck on it. So I'll let this soak. Evidently, these things. These shell type things cling on to it. And this was attached to probably a rock. I'll let him soak. Is another one of those. It kind of looks like a snake, don't it? There has to be something out there on the internet that that you can decorate these things. You can use these to decorate with. Oh, I just kind of broke it. Anyways. This is, I don't know what this is, some type of root system. That was washed up on the beach. It's amazing what you can find. Another beautiful piece of wood. When it dries, it's going to look really pretty. And I make pendants out of these type of shells that look old and distressed. I'll show you one. Um, well, I'll bring it out when I start to make my jewelry, my pendants. It's really pretty. I put, you know what, I have to go get it now because I don't want to. You guys are probably curious. Here is another piece of wood. Driftwood. All right, let me go find that necklace. Okay, here is one necklace I made. It's actually a shell. It's a shape of a heart. It's a shell, and then I put this heart sequence on it. And I, I sprayed it with some shiny lacquer. And then in the back, I hot glued this necklace on it. And I made it as a choker. It's really pretty on. So that's a shell. So I would do the same with this piece. I would put a sequence on it and put this in the back. So decorate. I decorate it. I have a whole bag of these things. Not just hearts. I have all different types of And then I didn't do it on this one, but what I'll be doing on the other ones is putting prescription symbols on them. It's um, symbology and they're for health. So I'll introduce that to you later on. 
Look how pretty it looks against my my crystal. I just put I just laid it on top of there. This is a what is this? This is a uh, Lemurian crystal. Isn't that pretty? Oh, at that beach I went to today, the state park, I got, I picked up two pieces off the beach. This would make a pretty necklace pendant. And then I'll put my prescription symbol on the back of that. And this one was kind of different. I kind of liked it like that. Then I'll put my prescription symbol. Like, like for instance, if you're if I'm treating, um, I make I make energy medicine. If I'm treating like, I don't know, anxiety, I'll put the prescription symbol on there and just wear it. And I sell those. I'll show you them when they're when they're made. But I'll do another video on making pendants. And I have more of these I picked up. They come together like this. And I'm doing a painting, I think tonight or tomorrow. And it's a butterfly. And then it's a picture of, of a butterfly that I'm doing. And then I'm going to use these and, and glue them on the painting. And then, of course, I'll need, I'll need smaller ones in, for the bottom. You know what I mean? To make it look like a, well, these aren't really that small. I need smaller ones than this. I have them. I found some more. Oh, like, um, like this set. So I'll glue them so it looks like a butterfly. Somehow, some way, I'll do it. <laughs> it's hard to... I've been working... I've been playing with this, trying to make it look like a butterfly. And I don't know. Does that look like a butterfly? I'll have to play around with it. But I thought that would be really cool to add to the painting. Okay, what else did I find? I thought this would make a pretty, 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 pretty um, pendant. It's not pretty. It's a shell. It's amazing. Ah, there is a spiritual meaning to seashells, and I'll have to put it in my description box. I mean, my yeah, my description box below below the video this is pretty shiny and some more driftwood just wondering if you guys ever get to the beach more driftwood Jingle. Oh, I made something last night after I did the video. I'll have to show you. I probably don't need that running. There's another um, distressed looking shell. This one actually is pink in the sunshine. This pink tinge to it. I don't know how these cracked. This is adorable little seashell. Look at it. It came to I found it together. Ain't that cute? <laughs> it's pretty. And 
couple of more jingles. Black ones. Now this is huge, but you know, this wouldn't be this wouldn't be too bad hanging make if I made this as a keychain. Decorate it somehow, make it pretty. Prettier. This is an oyster. They kind of look like feet. Some type of foot. Oh, I thought this was interesting. It's one of those sh pretty shells, but... Oh my goodness. It's too bad it's cracked and... I'm sure someone stepped on it, but look at the coloring in it. Look at it. See that's it's cracked right there. But look at the beautiful coloring. And then inside of it, it's beautiful. I'm fascinated with shells. Oh, you, you won't believe the color of this one. Oh my goodness. I could not believe it when I found it. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? How does that get done? How is that made like so shiny? It's amazing. goes together like this when it has a clam in it. Look at that. I bet there was a pearl in there. Can you imagine how many pearls are on the bottom of the ocean? Another little tree. Some of it's lost its coloring. I don't know if I would use that one. Maybe. This orange, whatever that is. Pretty, pretty piece of driftwood. You can see the grain in it. Another jingle. I thought this was pretty cool. Um, it has like a little hole in there, down there in the bottom. That if you w made it, I don't know, you could like stick something out of there or put essential oils in there and wear it around your neck. I thought that was pretty cool. Are you guys as fascinated as I am? <laughs> okay, here is more of these. I think these are mus some type of muscle. These ones, these pretty ones. Some type of muscle. I got a few of them because I'm going to make butterflies out of them and just leave them as beautiful as they are. I'm not going to paint them or add glitter or anything like that. I'm just going to leave them the pretty color they are. And look how cute this little one is. Little baby. Big jingle black one. More driftwood. So I'm almost done with this bag. And then what am I going to do? Oh, I got to I got to apply. I got to do a painting. 
you guys are interested in my paintings, I'll eventually, this is a new channel, I'll eventually add my other channels on these channels, on the, you know, I'll eventually add my other channels on here, because I just made up a few others, in case you're interested in painting. I thought that was kind of pretty. It's a shell. I like these little twirly things, broken shells. Look how pretty that jingle is. Isn't nature beautiful? Oh yeah, I picked that up. I remember. It's funny, I remember. I'll look at shells from years ago and I'll remember picking them up. Oh, that one broke. Darn it. I like that one. More jingles, more little shells. That was pretty. I like that, it's pretty. So that's it of those. Um, oh, on the beach today at the state park, I found this one too and I found two black shells I've actually seen a lot of black shells on that beach black ones well, I don't see many black shells there's another piece I found it's in my pocket I'll show you <laughs> it's almost like gems where is it that's a jingle. I thought it was so fascinating because of the the way it shined. I think yeah, this is it. If I had better lighting, you'd probably be able to see the sheen on it. It looks really cool in the sun. almost like metallic type I don't know it's different I've never seen anything like that so I have this spray paint it's not paint it's um it's actually gloss it's in a can spray can so I'll spray these I spray them before I make my like I'll s spray that and then make a necklace out of it so I'll let these soak, try to get all the salt off of them. So that's all I have for right now. I just wanted to share these shells I found today. Okay. Um, Oh, I do want to show you that thing I made last night. I told, oh, that's what I was going to do tonight. I'm going, I'm supposed to make a um, sea glass. I used this. I have more of these here. But after I hung up, after I stopped videoing last night, with my votive thing i continued on with another one and i used the base mason jar and i made another one of these things like i said you'll need to you know those glass votives that you put a can little tea light candle in well you'll you need to put a glass votive in there and then the tea light because it, it otherwise it heat that little tea light heats up this glass jar and these things get 
start to melt, you know, the, um, the hot glue gun glue, it'll melt and they'll start to fall off. But I thought I'd just keep the cover or decorate the cover somehow. I don't know. That's something to do. So, um, okay, I'm going to upload this. And like I said, I have, I have more jars that I can do my, um, I have this one, but it has a sticker on it. Um, see if I can find one without a sticker. I'll let that soak. Um, yeah, I do. I have more. So, I'll do the sea glass votive jar tonight, okay? So, I'll be back. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.